How's life been since you won your WBO title? Um, well, to be honest, there wasn't much of a difference because I'm a woman. In the United States, unfortunately, when you win the world title, you don't see all shiny lights and the money comes flowing in and, and sponsors come rolling in. It's not like that for the women. So for me, it was just another day, uh, just another victory. For my dad, it meant a lot because I was his first world champion and um, he's always been a, a great technical coach. And if you give you know him a fighter who's got athleticism, heart, uh, power, or speed, um, or two of the five, he will mold them into a champion. Um, but unfortunately, the boxing business, is, it's all about everyone's out to get their own. So once one of his fighters felt that they needed to move on to better things, they left him and had a new management and training. So he never got to prove his um, ability of being a great coach. So for him, it meant a lot to show that he can mend and mold the world champion. But to me, it was like just one of many accomplishments that I plan on doing in the sport of boxing. Now, you won the title around nine months ago. Why the long layoff? Well, to be honest, we were scheduled to have my TV debut in February, and I was going to defend my title. But I had a very bad car accident. It wasn't minor. Um, I was on the freeway, and I was in someone's blind spot. And they cut me off the road, and I tried to avoid them, and my car lost control. I hit the left wall, spun across the freeway five lanes, and then hit the right wall, two head-on collisions. So it kept me on bed rest for a good two months. Couldn't work out or do anything. Um, I had real bad whiplash. It was like a, a huge setback because I was ready to go the following month. I was in, I was in training and huh, that's what stopped me and that's what laid me off for a while. Now you got a fight coming up June 18. And the funny thing about it, it's, it's gonna give you a chance to redeem your only loss against Ava Knight. Tell me about that. Um, it means a lot to me because in the amateurs I had over 80 amateur fights and I had to rematch girls over and over and over. I fought girls six times. I fought girls four times. Um, I always rematch girls. So to me, it's like um, a chance to fix my mistakes from the last fight. I know it wasn't my night that night and she got the best of me. And I also know that in every fight, in every loss, you learn something. And I just fought with too much emotions and I was so immature. And I just panicked and I felt I needed to knock her out in those last two rounds and I was running in there just getting caught and she finished strong and I didn't get the best of her. So to me, it's a chance to prove that I improved. What attributes are you more looking to sharpen up before going into this rematch? Um, it's more like I want to show that from the last fight, I'm twice as better and go in there and prove that I'm a better fighter than the last. I know she's going to be better too. I mean, she's always in training. I know she's always ready. I know that already. But at the same time, I've done a lot since that fight. You know, I've fought overseas twice. I fought two 10 round fights uh, against two world champions and, and um, I've just had so much experience and I feel like I matured and I'll show that come the 18th. Now Ava's more of a really gritty fighter, not much of a boxer goes a lot with their power punches. What type of style do you want to implement into this fight to make sure you get that W? Um, I'd say the style that I'm going to go is uh, the smarter, slicker, faster boxer. Um, I want to go in there and bring it to her, but at the same time, like in an Edwin Valero style type of way. Now this being the one chance to redeem the only loss that you've ever had, are, are you looking to make a statement against Ava Knight? And if you are, what type of statement is that? I just want to prove to everyone that I'm not afraid of anyone. This is a sport, and in a sport you face the best. You face all different types of styles, and it's, not, it's, nothing, it's nothing to me. I'm not scared of anyone. I don't, I don't fear anybody out there. It's a part of the sport. Um, I'm not out to pat my record. I'm not out to, to be the prettiest face with the prettiest record. I'm out to prove that I'm a... I'm a great fighter, and there's other women out there who are great too, but I'm one of the elites, and soon to be one of the greatest because I don't, I don't back down to anybody.